Well, hello everyone. I have been planning to uh, start a rifle project that I can use for both long range shooting and for hunting. And of course, I also plan the amount of cash that I, I would be willing to spend, including all the other accessories that I am thinking to add for the rifle. I am on a budget and I know that I am not going to spend $3,000 for my rifle project. But perhaps I can go at least half of that cost. I finally ordered the rifle that meets my requirement and it finally arrived. And today, we will be unboxing the Ruger American rifle with Magpul Hunter stock that is chambered in 308. Now, let's go on the table and open the box. For our returning viewers, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, just to give you a little bit about myself, I am a retired military combat veteran who likes to check out range equipment and uh, shoot firearms at a gun range for uh, review, information, and entertainment. While you are watching and find that you like what you see here, do not hesitate to uh, click the subscribe, like, share, and the uh, notification bell so you will not miss any of our new video uploads. All right, uh, as you can see, today we are on the table to do an uh, unboxing video of the rifle that uh, we pick up for our rifle build project. Ruger has been in the firearm business since 1949, and it's one of the largest firearm manufacturer in the United States. I like Ruger because they make good quality and a reliable gun with uh, also reasonable price. Their firearms are very affordable and it will not uh, break your bank. When you, uh, when you buy a rifle, majority are packed and uh, shipped in a cardboard box like this. Well, Ruger is no different. The company also packed this rifle into a uh, fairly decent looking box. I said decent because it's good enough to carry all the weight of that rifle. So just a heads up, when you purchase a rifle, plan on buying a good rifle uh, rifle case as well. So uh, now uh, let's uh, open this box and see what we have inside. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Folks, what we have here is the Ruger American Hunter in Magpul stock and it is chambered in uh, 308. Look at this beautiful baby right here, you know. I know that we just pulled this rifle out from the box, but we still need to ensure that uh, the weapon is clear. As you can see, the bolt assembly is not installed. So let's just uh, physically and visually inspect the chamber. No round in the chamber. No magazine inserted in the magazine well. Well, the rifle is clear. And let's put this baby here for a moment. And uh, let's have a look at other things that came with this uh, box. What else do we have here? We have some uh, good reading materials included here. And of course, what else we got? Oh, of course, we have the owner's manual right here. Well, folks, read the owner's manual. There are good information in the manual about the rifle. Uh, looks like Ruger also included a uh, sticker and also information about NRA. Let's check out what other things that we have here. Ruger also included a one Magpul magazine. It's the PMAG-5. And they also included uh, spacers to adjust the length of pull of the rifle. And also we have a bolt assembly right here. So you can see, and Ruger also included 
a cable lock. Now let's bring back our attention to the rifle. This Ruger American Hunter comes with a pre-installed Magpul stock as you can see and this particular stock color is gray but the rifle itself has uh, a mate black finish. There are also other different colors that are offered for this rifle. If we, take a, uh, if we take a closer look, we see that this rifle gives us the option to adjust the length of pull. The uh, cheek rest or the, the comb of the rifle can also be adjusted to provide the shooter that proper eye relief uh, from whatever the, uh, the, the shooter wanted to install over here as the scope. This stock comes with a medium sized comb right here, but if you want to have a high or low comb, you can also purchase that separately from the, uh, the Magpul website. Well, as you can see, Ruger provided uh, extra spacers. Where are they at? Okay, they provided extra spacers for the shooter to adjust the uh, length of pull by adding or removing the spacer between the recoil pad and uh, the rear of the uh, butt, uh, butt stock. All you have to do is uh, to take uh, the screw, there's a screw right down here, and uh, after you take it out, the recoil, pal the recoil pad will come right off. And looking also at the either side of the stock, you will also find uh, sling loops and spots for uh, quick detach uh, attachments also. Uh, uh, mounts I mean shooting a rifle that is chambered in 308 is a lot of fun but also know that it has fair amount of kick and you that you need to manage with that said Ruger included a nice looking uh, recoil pad that would help to absorb the recoil uh, so the shooter will not have a painful shoulder after uh, a long day of shooting well, the pistol grip right down here looks good and ergonomically designed. And as you can see, it is also angled for the shooter to have a good, uh, to have a good grip and also for the shooter to easily reach the trigger. Well, Ruger also included the texturing on uh, both sides of the pistol grip to give the firing hand a better traction when firing the rifle. Well, the Magpul stock also ha uh, has that uh, wide flat bottom right down here on the front end for the shooter to be able to uh, rest the rifle on a shooting bag, sandbag, or other objects that the shooter want to use as artificial support to uh, stabilize the rifle when uh, delivering that well-aimed shot. The rifle also have uh, M-Lock accessory mounting which are located in the front side of the stock right down here. This is uh, for the shooter to mount uh, sling attachment or even uh, M-Lock tripods that are side mounted. It also has a, uh, an M-Lock point right here at the bottom uh, for uh, mounting a tripod as well. Well, the rifle also uh, comes with a marksman adjustable trigger. Well, uh, you got the trigger blade style safety which are uh, very common these days in uh, volt action rifles. The uh, factory installed trigger gives us the option to adjust the trigger between uh, about 3 to uh, 5 pounds in order to deliver that uh, well aimed shot. Looking at the uh, top forward of the pistol grip right down here is the uh, safety selector and on the left of that, as you can see over here, I'll show that to you later, is the uh, release or some calls it uh, the bolt uh, stop. This permits the bolt to be uh, withdrawn once you, you press it in. Uh, you will be able to take the bolt out from the rifle. This rifle comes with a heavy contour barrel and also features a Ruger Precision Hybrid Muzzle Brake to reduce the recoil while also minimizing the blast by uh, redirecting, uh, redirecting it out uh, to the side of the muzzle. This rifle is offered in two types of cartridges, uh, the uh, 308 Winchester and also the 6.5 Creedmoor. This particular rifle is chambered in uh, 308. 
For those of you who are not familiar with 308, well, it is also, uh, 308 is uh, similar with a 7.62 cartridge. Uh, this uh, rifle also offers a one minute of angle that can uh, make your shot count every time you pull that trigger. Most of the rifle that you buy these days, as you can see, does not, uh, does not come with a scope you have to purchase that separately. Well, however, uh, Ruger included a uh, factory installed Picatinny uh, one-piece scope rail, so you can mount the uh, scope of your choice on this rifle. The overall length of the rifle is 41.25 to 43.25 inches, and it is depending on how much spacer is added or removed. The barrel length is about 20 inches from here to here and the length of pull the length of pull from here all the way here is about 13 to 15 inches this uh, rifle also uh, comes with uh, one three lug bolt with a seven 70 degree throw and if you look at the bolt, bolt face right down here it looks familiar because the uh, extractor is pretty much similar to the Armalite Rifle 15 or most people refer to it as the AR-15. Alright, well everyone this is the quick overview of our project rifle. This, this is uh, part one and I will uh, be posting uh, more uh, uh, follow-up videos as we continue to add accessories, alright? We will try to dress this rifle because uh, right now she looks naked. <laughs> Obviously, we need to, uh, we need lenses and scope uh, scope rings as well. Also, uh, maybe bipods and also slings. Well, leave the comment down below what will be a good rifle that we can uh, we can install with this. Uh, oh, I mean, what would be a good uh, scope that we can install in this rifle? Once again, guys, this is Apolakai Armory saying know and follow all the weapons and range safety rules. And let's keep hitting the X-Ring. Simple pie, laging kapat, at mabuhay po kayong lahat. Until next time.